Have you ever heard of the history of the Titanic ocean liner? You've most likely heard about the ship and its ultimate demise, but you should know that many mysterious objects have been found in the Titanic wreck, and in today's video, we're going to find out what they are. Before we begin, however, we should familiarize ourselves with the history of the Titanic. The Titanic, the largest passenger ship in the world at its time, set sail from Southampton, England in April 1912. Unfortunately, this meant she could transport more people than she could accommodate in an emergency. With nearly 1,500 passengers and employees on board, the ship struck an iceberg and sank to the ocean floor in just four hours. The accident was one of the bloodiest in maritime history, but was not forgotten by the rest of the world. Many strange items were discovered on board the ship after the horrific sinking, and many of them are now kept as souvenirs or historical curiosities. When it was learned that there had been a second Titanic under a different company, many people began to seek out as many items as possible from the first Titanic. Thanks to some lucky coincidences and dutiful crew members who salvaged the items before throwing them overboard to ease the strain, various strange artifacts were discovered on board that had survived the disaster. Here are some unusual items found by the sinking Titanic, from playing cards to pictures to toothbrushes. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most bizarre Titanic relics ever discovered. A Shilling in Silver the Titanic's remembered for its luxurious elegance and exceptional onboard amenities. However, a lone silver shilling coin was one of the most basic artifacts found in the disaster. This coin was found in the pocket of one of the deceased passengers. According to the logbook, it was found on the body of an unknown man. It's unclear why the coin was in the man's pocket, but it's suspected that it was one of the crew members in charge of the ship's bar. Although this has not been proven, it is possible that the man put the coin in his pocket as a tip for himself. The silver shilling had been in the pocket for more than 80 years when it was discovered, making it a very old Titanic relic. Some Newspapers from the Day of the Sinking a small pile of newspapers from the day of the sinking was another notable find in the rubble. Four copies of the New York Times, the Boston Daily Globe, the Boston Evening Transcript, and the New York Evening Sun were discovered in the Commandant's office. While it's unclear who owned these newspapers, there are several interesting hypotheses. It's likely that the officers read the newspapers while awaiting the ship's arrival in New York, but it's also plausible that they read the newspapers to keep themselves busy while they helped to evacuate the passengers. A newspaper was even open to an article on the ship, but it's unclear whether officers read it before the crash or while waiting for it to end. The Ship's Construction Plans one of the most important pieces of memorabilia from the Titanic is its original construction plans that were drawn up by the Naval Architects Department of the White Star Line. This document contained all of the most important information about the Titanic and showed precisely how it was built, what materials would have been used, and how the ship was structured. This information was meticulously combed through after the ship met its end. A team of researchers did their best to identify any safety flaws that may have caused the ship to break apart in such a tragic way. They wanted to identify any structural issues so that they could reinforce all future ships and ensure that they would be built to last for many years to come. The Titanic was obviously classified as being unsinkable, however, these claims were tragically disproven in the most ungodly way possible, claiming the lives of so many innocent people. For many people, it's almost ironic that one of the most technologically advanced ships of the time led such a short life and didn't even finish its maiden voyage. 
What researchers had a difficult time understanding is how the ship could have been separated by 15 bulkheads, yet it still sank. Each of these chambers could have been easily closed off so that in the event of an emergency, the ship could continue to float. If these failsafes worked correctly, the damage from the iceberg should have easily been closed off by the crew, preventing the lower portions of the ship from flooding. However, at the end of the day, these systems didn't work as planned. The iceberg had ripped such a large hole in the ship that there was no way for it to recover. According to witnesses who spoke with the captain, every member of the ship's crew underestimated the amount of water that would be pouring in. The crew believed they'd be able to contain the water and rescue the ship, but their efforts simply weren't enough. As the water continued to flood the base of the ship, the captain consulted with the ship's lead architect. When they realized there was nothing they could do to stop it, the architects accurately predicted that the ship would sink in less than three hours. The Gold Jewelry as with many of the other items on the list, the discovery of gold jewelry from the wreck of the Titanic was a multi-step process. Several gold rings and a gold brooch were discovered on the first trip in 1987. Another gold button was discovered in 1989 and another round one in 1996. These pieces are among the most bizarre finds from the Titanic disaster. But why? Because it's unclear who owns the jewelry. While some of the rings are too small for most male fingers, the rest of the jewelry is too generic to be assigned to anyone. Most rings were too small for the staff or passengers on board. They were most likely worn by first-class passengers. Unfortunately, without a name inscribed on the inside, it's impossible to determine which of the Titanic's passengers these rings belong to. A Platinum Watch among the first finds from the Titanic wreck was a platinum watch. Found in a unique platinum case, this watch was the only one of its kind found on board the ship. The item was discovered on the body of a senior officer who, along with his colleagues, had helped evacuate people. Several gold pocket watches were also recovered from the ship. However, these most likely belonged to the first-class passengers. The platinum watch is a rare find as it's much rarer than gold watches. While gold watches are relatively inexpensive, platinum watches are now quite valuable. A Stewardess's Fur Coat a young 33-year-old stewardess was given a job as a first-class waitress aboard the Titanic. For many people, this would have been the job of a lifetime, though for young Mabel Bennett, the job nearly claimed her life. One of her most prized possessions was a long beaver fur coat. She brought this coat on the ship with her, and this coat may have helped save her life. She was one of only a few hundred passengers who managed to survive the Titanic. When she was informed that the ship was sinking, she was wearing nothing more than a nightgown. As the shouts of women and children first began to fill the hallways of the ship, she tossed on her fur coat and made her way to the deck, claiming one of only a few spots available on the life rafts. It wouldn't be long before she would set sail on the small raft, with this fur coat being the only thing to keep her warm on the cold April night in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The coat remained one of her most beloved belongings for decades until she passed it on to her niece. According to the niece, the only reason she wanted to get rid of it was that it had gotten too heavy for her. Mabel would continue to live a long and prosperous life, passing away at the age of 96 back in 1974. After Mabel passed away, the coat was taken to auction. It takes a lot for an item like this to make it to the auction block, as it requires countless days and weeks of research to confirm that the item is genuine. If it hadn't been for Mabel having her photo taken when she eventually arrived in New York, it's possible the coat would have never been validated and certified. An Empty Pencil Case Pencils and pens are the most common finds from the Titanic disaster. This is because so many crew members and passengers rode in the days leading up to the ship's sinking. An interesting and rare item found was an empty pencil case. This was found in the first-class smoking room. There are various speculations as to who owned the pencil case, including the likelihood that it belonged to the ship's captain. 
However, since no names are associated with the artifact, we may never know. The pencil case was part of a larger collection of items drying on a tray in the room. It's likely that they were left there to dry after being repaired, which would explain why they were left when the ship was evacuated. Wallace Hartley's Violin Several years after the Titanic sank to the depths of the ocean, a small leather bag was recovered from the wreckage. No one knew what was in the bag at first, but it didn't take long for investigators to find out. The bag contained a violin that was believed to have belonged to one of the men who had been playing as the ship sank, Wallace Henry Hartley. Musicians who were on the Titanic made a beautiful decision in their final hours on this earth to help ease the minds of the many men, women, and children who were destined to lose their lives in the icy waters of the ocean. Many of the passengers were beginning to panic as certain death was lingering only a few moments away. These musicians did everything within their power to calm the passengers and decided to serenade them as the ship slowly sank to the depths. Their music helped calm the minds and hearts of the children and adults on board and made their final moments a bit easier. According to eyewitnesses who managed to survive the crash, the final songs to be played by the Titanic's band were Nearer My God to Thee and Autumn. Wallace Hartley was one of these incredible individuals and inside of the leather bag that had been found in the wreckage, an inscription was written on a metal tag that read, For Wallace, on the occasion of our engagement from Maria. His violin was cleaned and given back to Wallace's former fiance, Maria Robinson. I can't imagine the emotions that must have washed over her when her husband's violin had been found after all this time. The violin would remain in her family for many years until it was eventually offered at auction in the early 2000s. The violin was confirmed to be a genuine artifact, and a little-known fact is that Hartley's body was found in the wreckage as well. Three Combs, One Made of Ivory Many of the unusual objects found on the Titanic were made of ivory. Among them were carved pieces, crests, and even ornamental decorations. While it's not known why so many items on board were made of ivory, it's possible that it was a symbol of prestige. At the end of the 19th century, ivory was very expensive and therefore only available to the elite. As such, it was not uncommon for people aboard the Titanic who were wealthy to hold objects made of ivory, and combs were usually made of ivory. Since it doesn't become brittle like wood or plastic, it was considered the preferred material for combs. If an ivory comb were to fall, it would most likely not break. A Painted Doll's Head while most of the strange objects found on board the Titanic were of use to the passengers, some of the strange objects were also extraordinary. For example, a miniature wooden doll head is painted to resemble a woman with black hair. The head was recovered on Titanic's sun deck in a dark and lonely area of the ship. There are various ideas as to how or why this head ended up there. It may have been taken on board by a youth and accidentally left there. It could also be a toy that belonged to someone on board and was misplaced or lost. In any case, the head survived the sinking of the Titanic and is now on display at the Maritime Museum in Halifax, Canada. 10 Bags of Unsewn Fabric the last unusual find at the Titanic disaster was a large collection of fabrics. Some of the fabrics were still in their original packaging. Unstitched pieces of cloth accounted for a large proportion of the fabrics found on board. While most people believe that these are pieces of fabric from ship repairs or renovations, it's also possible that they're fabrics carried on board. These fabrics may have been intended for passengers to take home. For example, it's not uncommon for cruise lines to give travelers gifts of fabric, such as a black silk dress and a red silk handkerchief. Two pairs of women's shoes, one made of leather, one made of paper. 
A pair of women's shoes were also found at the Titanic disaster. Leather was used for one of the pair of shoes. Another pair of paper shoes may have been intended for children, but also for low-income travelers. It's also likely that they were designed for travelers with medical conditions that made wearing regular shoes problematic. We don't know who these paper shoes belonged to or why they were made from paper, but it's truly an interesting discovery from the wreckage of the Titanic. Today, we learned how many special and mysterious items have been found in the wreck of the Titanic, and who knows how many more will be found in the future. Thank you for watching. Click on one of the pictures and watch another exciting video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And to never miss new videos again, click subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.